Hello and welcome back to a new Rage Gaming video. We're back to talk again about Lost Ark today. That Korean-made isometric camera action-focused RPG is one we've taken a look at over the last year while we've been long awaiting the ability to actually play it ourselves here in the West. The combat's got its crazy fast pace. There's those super flashy animations and abilities from an absolute pile of classes and playstyles to choose from with dedicated PvP and PvE all in an MMO environment. It's a game that's been going for a few years now and has had a lot of content updates with even more planned that we're going to talk about today. As we already know though, Lost Ark is set to release here in the West sometime in 2021. Apparently all is going well and we're on track to release which is good news, but if you're unaware, Smilegate is actually working with Amazon Game Studios to bring this to the West, which is a interesting choice. As we know, Amazon as a developer has had a very rocky history with its various studios so far, but it's undeniably a massive business with a lot of resources, a lot of money to make things happen. Therefore, I do think Amazon are in a good position to publish games rather than actually develop them themselves, which is basically the reasoning Smilegate gave as to why they chose Amazon Games as their publisher. Since things are going well and it's meant to be coming later this very year, I think we could actually expect beta news very soon, perhaps even in the next few months, before later in the year finally getting a chance to play it. Now, Season 2 recently released on the main servers throughout the winter period. Inside of that update, we saw lots of big updates to the game with major visual overhauls and quality life improvements alongside new features like the guild islands and more social stuff to make the world feel a bit more like an MMO. Plus there was also two new classes of Reaper and Scouter, basically we got a vampiric fighter here and then also the futuristic power suit user, which I've actually made videos talking more specifically about. But across the board, Lost Ark has some of the best looking combat in any game I've ever seen with its massive roster of classes that are still, you know, coming out with more as we're going to talk about. They don't seem to be slowing down, which is what we're talking about today. The reason we're making this update video is because of the recent presentation last month all about Season 2 and the future plans for the game in general. One of the most important and honestly overdue updates to the game is the newly revealed gender options. Sadly, so far, Lost Ark has been one of those games that has a set class with a set gender. So if you wanted to play a Scouter, for example, you're a male, that's just that. So it's good to see this new announcement that they're finally doing away with that, and they're starting with this new class called the Gunslinger, which gives us a new option for the Devil Hunter. The outfit they gave her is really cool, this cowgirl setup with those very flashy animations. Gunslinger is still ultimately the Gunner class and the female version of the Devil Hunter, but what's interesting is how they're choosing to list her as an entirely new class, instead of just having her as a gender option on the Devil Hunter. There are slight mechanical changes that technically allow them to say, yeah, this is a new class entirely, but at its core, it is just the Devil Hunter. Each class comes with its own skills and awakenings, and the Gunslinger technically has her own separate to the Devil Hunter. So, I don't know, is this a good thing? What do you think? Instead of getting to play the class that you like and the gender you prefer, you have to play a slightly different version of that class depending on what gender you want to play. So obviously they're going to need to balance things very carefully, so one of these isn't better than the other, but at least it's something new and a gender option of some kind. She's coming out sometime this month, but also, there seems to be a new alternative gender for the next class, which will be the male version of the Battlemaster called the Striker. That's coming in March, so we'll see if there's any new news for the game when that comes out. His design looks pretty cool in the wind and the rain, but there isn't much information that we can learn more than just this image. I just don't know, is it cooler to create this technically new class that plays almost the same as a Devil Hunter, or would you just prefer, like, male or female options of one class that function exactly the same? Apparently this Gunslinger update is going to come later for, say, the Russian servers, and most likely we'll have a same delay for the Striker. But a question I've asked a lot when it comes to Global Release and Lost Ark, will we be starting the game with all the new content in Season 2, and updates released over the many years this game has been going, in fact? Or are we just going to always be behind, like how the Russian version is a couple months behind the Korean? During the rest of that presentation, we did learn some brief details about the two new classes coming to the game. Firstly, this magic user who looks a bit like a witch. Apparently, she's not actually got a name yet, but will be releasing in the second half of this year. This is going to be the fourth advanced class for the major roster, and the theme is meant to be a very classic wizard. And then that second new class coming later after that is part of the new and unnamed set. At the moment, we have those main classes, which we will then choose to go into their official final form, their advanced 
advanced class, right? Well, this is adding to a whole new roster of advanced classes. This edition appears to be a young girl who is wearing this pink and purple outfit. We can't learn too much more than that, but we can speculate a bit because she's holding a staff that has feathers on the end of it, kind of like a brush. So considering the very unusual nature of some of the other classes in this game, maybe she's an artist or a painter type. There's actually two shadow versions of her behind her, so maybe she creates illusions of herself like living shades to help her fight. Anyway, I'm interested to see what they do with this new class tree overall. As it stands, there's going to be three classes in this class type, and this one alongside one more are already confirmed and being worked on, while they're still sort of working out that last one. Outside of class updates and new releases, there's an entirely new region being added that will continue the story of Lost Ark, most likely tied to some new raids that are coming that I'll mention in a sec, and it would be a logical place for them to be set. The new continent is called South Burn, and in the trailer we got to see some very pretty autumn landscapes, those browns, reds and yellows, while on the other hand the main combat is definitely going to be demonic and dark, the main villains seem to be invading the land. And while this region is definitely going to be one of the smaller ones added to the game, it's still going to be very impactful to the story apparently. Plus. There's the six new raids being added, which is crazy. All themed around those six characters, they're all going to have their own atmosphere. Players will have to deal with completely different challenges and encounters and setups, rather than just being six levels set in the same raid or something like that. It's pretty huge for the PvE scene, and is actually what I'm most excited for when I finally get to play myself. So it's really good to see them adding such big chunks of content over a single season. Interestingly, during this presentation, they explained that they feel their content updates have been slow during 2020. Understandably, because of COVID, everyone's been hit by that. But they also said they've been making structural changes. And with that now done, they can actually focus on new content and new updates, which is really crazy because I thought they'd been doing well with updates. They even mentioned that they'd like to make an entirely new game set around 500 years before the current events of Lost Ark sometime in the future. So their plans are pretty big for this game, this universe, and what they're going to do in the future. Basically, big updates are coming for the game as it consistently pumps out new areas, new classes, and important new challenges like those raids, as well as the ever-evolving PvP scene, if you consider those new classes being added to the game. I mean, Lost Ark has been going on for a few years now. There's been an absolute ton of updates to the original game, and I really hope we get to enjoy that all at once at launch in the West, or get those updates very quickly after. I don't mind being a few months behind the main Korean servers, but I don't want to be years behind when we finally do get to play. Anyway, until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you, and thanks for watching. Thank you.